hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel happy weekend i hope you are doing fine so today we are going to make sigalium fry soup typical but not so typical you know like when i cook i love following recipes what my grandmother taught me what i saw the auntie doing but also i love doing things on my own just having a little bit of twist you know those stuff like that so if you are new to my channel thank you for stopping by my name is Mariama. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to participate in the comment section and share your ideas. I love to cook and I also love to talk. So that's why my channel is called Little Bean Mom 20 Food and Discussions. So let's go. So for today, what we are going to do is making this fry soup. What I've already seen, I use onions, fresh tomatoes, and eggplants. In Sierra Leone, when we make stew, fry soup, or whatever, we use onions. Like onions is like the most famous vegetable that we have like we love onions making friends you know fry soup i know some people like like blending their onions and not cooking and eating onions like that but that is what makes us all unique different county different um, food and different way of cooking it this is our way please respect it and don't come and start saying oh i don't like onions standing like this we are not really and this is how we like it so let's go so after adding our onions i end up adding out that i'm using a very small pot so i end up making two pots for the remaining onion that you saw on the bowl and adding some extra eggplants and fresh tomatoes and make another batch of soup and just having you know not to just throw it away or keep it in the freezer so what i've already done here is like i'm going to add in my tomato paste and maggi cubes don't panic i'm not using only this small amount of tomato paste i'm going to add another one like what i do if i if i'm using tomato paste i normally have the large can and if i take some portion of it i don't want to leave it in the can so i turn it into like put it in a very small you know plastic container and then store it in the freeze you know in, in the fridge so that was this is what like what was remaining in the fridge and I'm going to open a new can and then add in another tomato paste. So I'm going to add in four maggi cubes and then I'm going to add in some salt. But when you are cooking, if you are okay with tasting food, then you can taste your food. If the taste is okay, then you continue cooking or add something else, some spice or whatever. But when I'm cooking, I don't like tasting the food. I just cook with my heart. I put the maggi, maggi cubes, whatever seasoning, whatever sauce, and just go ahead cooking. I know that it's going to come out great. Like, I don't like tasting food. I don't know why. If it's <laughs> a habit or uh, just something that I'm just like, when I'm cooking, like, I'm confident that this portion of food, this amount of this amount of this particular thing is going to make it taste great and come out great. That's it. Let's go. Let's cook. So, after giving it a very good mix and allow it to like decrease a little bit, then I'm going to add in, you know, the other tomato paste that I told you guys about. And then I'm also going to give it a very good mix. Let me just tell you a little bit of uh my social media presence yeah um i like social media i like making culturally on youtube i'm not familiar with other platforms like tiktok and instagram and facebook even though i have you know a social media presence in all those platforms you can check the description of this video you find the links to my tiktok my instagram and my facebook page but i don't make content over there often as i do here on youtube i've been trying my best to be active and all part but sometimes i don't have the i would like put it i don't have like the energy to like be making videos all the time on different platforms and uploading it it's just like sometimes it will just come upon me like okay we're making video rapidly this month or next month for youtube and after some days after some months and i'll just slow back and be making one video per week or if i'm happy two or more videos per week that is just how i flow on my social media platform so if you start seeing me very often on your youtube on your youtube uh, notifications go ahead and watch the videos you keep me motivated and like make more videos if you're not seeing me more just know that i'm in my feelings i'm dealing with something that i don't want to start talking on making videos because making videos is nice when i cook for just normal cooking it's very simple and easy but when i'm making cooking and then i'm going to video that particular food it like takes some you know a lot of time for me that i don't really usually like so sometimes i just cook certain dishes without making content out of it so we are going to go in and add in our bay leaf and then we're going to add in our white powder pepper like in sierra leone when we cook soup fried soup there is no fried soup that can go on in sierra leone without bay leaf and then thyme we don't cook too much of seasoning in my country 
you know it's typical every african nation we don't believe in too much of sin because most of us are raised by our grandmothers and elders that tell us that too much of seasoning is not good you know elsewise and those stuff so we like using mostly you know local or abba seasoning and stuff like that to keep us healthy and i found out that it's very good for us based on you know now that i'm cooking and using different type of seasoning the taste and you know just general wise it's different so that's why i'm not going crazy with my bunch of seasoning that i normally use when i'm cooking i'm just going to follow just a little bit of thyme a little bit of white powder pepper and then of course my bay leaf now everything is mixed that i'm going to be using and then i'll cover it once i was cooking before you see that there was like no oil you'll be like ah, this girl is making a lot of water coming out of the soup what is going on with her that is it like once you add the onions you can see the onions have some water after uh, washing it slicing it the tomatoes they also have water so once that water dissolves then you're going to see the oil starts coming up that is like also a little tip when you are cooking soup or whatever please don't go crazy with the you know the onion you no know, the oil stuff be easy with the oil just allow once the water is drained you're going to see that vegetable oil or red oil coming up so that just like what you are saying when we make fried soup in Tiwalu, we normally use fish balls, you know, fish and make it into tiny balls and then we add it into our soup. But I don't have um, fish ball right now. So that's why I was using meatball and then I fry some fish and then I have some two pieces of chicken that I fried and ate the last, you know, the, the morning. And I thought, okay, let me just throw it down here. Not like it was planned, but you can add whatever protein you have at hand and make your soup now we're going to also just cover this guy up once it like starts cooking then we're going to like mix it gently to make sure that the soup get in between the fish get into the chicken get into the meatball so the taste the flavor will just be the same you know if you cannot be eating and tasting and the fish tastes different the meatball tastes different i cannot feel the soup in every protein that's why we are going to give it a very good mix. We are going to be gentle with the fish because we don't want it to break. I normally fry fish like very, make it like very hard. But when you get into a pot of boiling stuff, you cannot trust that the fish is going to stand and win that battle. Most times it will just smash or just scatter inside of the pot. So we are going to give it a very gentle, nice and calm mix. And then I'm just going to cover this guy up. Once you are satisfied that the water is no longer available, then your soup is ready. You can eat it with rice, typical Sierra Leone, or you can eat it with anything that you want. You go for it. But I have mine with rice. <laughs> so let me know in your country how you make soup. Like normal nuts. We know we have pepper soup here that don't involve a lot of oil. But if you are using oil, how do you call it? How do you make it? Do you like your onions blend or do you like your on onions just like Sivalionia, just standing there and just smiling at you and say hello how are you doing <laughs> thanks for keeping up with me till this time thank you for watching thanks for all the support the subscribe the like the shares i greatly appreciate them supporting someone you don't know and just watching online it's highly it's a good thing thanks for watching and bye